Right. Well, I think you can look at this question on two levels. Firstly, uh, China is is paranoid about other countries commenting on its own internal affairs. Uh, the, the the sort of tried and true principle of its foreign policy is that we will not comment on your internal affairs, so you will not comment on ours. And we could see this actually uh, in, in motion in uh, with the independence of Crimea. Um, there was a, a directive that went out um, in Chinese media to not talk about uh, Crimea in the context of Tibet and Xinjiang, which is in the far west. Um, so there is this real fear that uh, if there is a, a precedent that is set in, in Crimea, um, that it, it could be uh, uh, seen to be parallel with the situation in, in China. Um, so I think that explains to a certain extent the, the response of the Chinese, uh, Chinese government to, to the Crimea and also uh, to a certain extent this, this plane crash. Um, on the second level, I think there are some similarities between the uh, respective presidents of the, of the two countries um, in that they both uh, are pushing a, a non-Western, non-EU universal values uh, approach um, to, to managing societal relations in their countries. So uh, uh, Mr. Putin has uh, this uh, Eurasianism uh, in his in his thought bank, uh, which is uh, something that has been evidence for quite some time, uh, and the Eura Eurasianism, which sits also in this Eurasian, the idea of the Eurasian Union, um, is is distinct. It is uh, founded in opposition to the European Union, and uh, China actually China likes that because China is also trying to promote its own uh, model. Uh, distinct from the Western model, um, and it, it basically says, again, to do with internal affairs, uh, or not commenting on internal affairs, that we, we will develop our own model of doing things. So I, I think the Chinese government actually likes it when other countries, such as Russia, um, propose ways of doing things which are not based on, on Western models of liberalism.